side. Dylan Armitage is back and will need to be here as it goes in his direction. He's coming forward, but Dave Carney had a chance to take it and didn't. It's Matt Gitto. McFadden's trying. Will concern reasonably long way out, but it doesn't normally worry him, and it doesn't worry. He'd like to have a trundle in the direction of Wilkinson and Gitto, but you know, we talk about Wilkinson's defence. Gitto, we've already seen, he's a hard man. He's not tall, but he packs a punch in the tackle too. Yeah, we've already seen that, haven't we? Owen Redding to put in. Penalty at the scrum. Confirms the good start. Wants three here, three points to get Leinster going and on the board. Confident strike from Goppert. He was man of the match. He's not going to go, but he's not looking great. Now it's Maxim Mamor's turn to uh, strip off touchline. Los Gitto will go to ten. What a loss for too long there. Okay. Talisman. As he's become Johnny Wilkinson, referee's taking them back for the penalty. Here's Gofford. Can't argue with that. Maintain that, and they've weathered a, weathered a hard 15 minutes. I think they're in a pretty good position, especially with an All Ireland bench to come on on a hot afternoon. I think that's a worry for too long. This scrummage situation. Well, it's not a worry here. The atmosphere above, the surface below, but Gitto. But they're standing up to the physical assault so far. Take from Devon Turner at the line out. He's captain, Jamie Heaslip. Coppeth. O'Driscoll. Shane Jennings, again the link man. Danger of holding on to that. Yep. Very similar distance. He's adjusted this time, though. And adjusted very well indeed. And that first score in the second half goes to the champions. In this match, he set it up again, the hooker. In comes Gitto. Gitto tries to get underneath the tackle. Tears ball. It's all going mad here now. And Leinster being pushed really hard here. Just listen to the crowd. Wayne Barnes gets a very good look. Carl Heyman can see the line. And then he couldn't. Pastoreau is going to take over. There's going to be a penalty. Right at the start of the game. Too long Providence for a very similar situation, but they were disappointed to the point of angry that they didn't get the try. And Suta tries here, and everybody has come this side. There's nothing to the right, really. Leinster know it. The cards are on the table, and Toulon played them well. Gitto has to be the calmest man in the stadium. It's good for Roderick again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's coming more and more into the game. Jordy Murphy is on now. Leinster, he's replaced Shane Jennings. Kian Healy on the floor. Twice oh, that's the perfect for Gotham. Lancer, he doesn't get it. Give them Bang. a major boost if he does get it. It'll be a drive. Bastero locks. Bastero wants to go himself. Now he gets the pass out, but the chance. All right, it's not gone. It's scored by Mitchell just as well for Bastero. But then he'll say. He's on one on one to make the difference. Ball goes backwards there. Redding can't control it, Danny Rousseau outstanding, gets his first foot to it. The pace of Stefan Armitage can't control the ball, but Maxime Mermoz has been very accomplished since he came on. Very patient indeed there. Frisia does well, and then you think it has to be a try if they go wide. No, Bastro says it has to be a try if I run at them. Lovely footwork from Mitchell, stepped on the right, checked his man on the left, classy stuff from the Wallaby. Yeah. Newspapers have been thrown in the air. That's normally the signal here when the home crowd can scent victory. Pan out. Might not be very pleasant days for Leinster. As they have to reflect on defeat unless they can turn it very quickly now. 
Jack McGrath's onto the field. And off goes Kean Healy. Dice are being thrown. McGrath gets involved. Redding screaming at the referee, but he's not going his way. He's going to Long's way. If this goes over, it's not a bad effort. It is hit, not miss. And that might be it. Meeting in this competition. Cullen as Leinster desperately look for something. They've got the driving line out going into the corner. It's a try. Supported by Cullen and Cullen with the take. What a drive. Great stuff from the impact man. Uh, Cullen's take. Cronin's throw. And the man of the match, which concurs with your comments. Well, I think he's been outstanding and I think Rousseau's done a brilliant job covering there. Sums up the extra power they've had and the technique at the breakdown today. Mikhail Kansi, 20 caps for Georgia. Matteo Bastaro flows oh. here. Smith again. Is this the finish? Just a tap tackle. But with just three minutes left, Toulon looking for the coup de grace. Here's Gitto again. And it's a penalty. Orioli, Joanne Smith trying to get the offload in. Think he did it. How on earth did he to Orioli? Now it's been lost, but it's back for the penalty anyway. So Gitto. Starry, starry team, isn't it? To Kirschner. He was demolished there. Oh, bodies flying everywhere. Wayne Barnes might just say everybody was off their feet. I think he does. Castro Giovanni, that doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Relax, 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 relax. It's fine. Relax. Because it's over. One final piece of action for the referee. Just check. This will be it. The champions are through. It is the end of the European line. And there were moments, there were glimpses of hope for Leinster later on, but they were snuffed out immediately by the champions. And in reality, they will look back to a period early in the second half when Toulon came out without their captain, without their talisman, their leader, Johnny Wilkinson. But they still took control of the game. They took control of the physical exchanges and ultimately they took control of the scoreboard. It is a battered and bruised, but no doubt proud Leinster side who leave the Stad Felix Mail. They gave it their all today. It wasn't quite enough.